What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhoods Prometheus here and today we are talking about one of the rarest espresso drinks in all of modern coffee and that is a true single shot of espresso. Now we're all pretty well acquainted with this thing, the standard straight wall basket, but you may not be familiar with this odd little contraption. This is the single shot basket. These tend to not see the light of day all that often and kind of feel like a relic of cafe's past. This one was in a box of accessories that came with my machine and I had to go dig it out of storage from over three years ago. Besides the obvious difference between these two baskets, let's talk a bit about their functionality. The straight wall basket is pretty simple in terms of the design. Pressure only moves in two directions. When tamping, there's a reactive compression that happens along a flat plane, basically in the center, and when pressurized water from the machine is pushing straight through the puck and out the bottom of the basket, it's only moving in one direction. The single shot basket's pressure dynamics are a bit more complex. Due to its shape, the reactive compression when tamping pushes from multiple angles, creating a lateral compression and possibly a denser puck than the straight wall basket. The flow of pressure through the single basket also has a slight angle which creates more of a funnel for the pressure. Now I'm not completely sure how this affects the extraction, but later on when I talk about the extraction percentages, this comes into my theory. But the actual design reason for these tapered angles is to make up for the lack of depth in the coffee puck. This is supposed to slow the extraction time to a more normal rate, normal being between 20 to 25 seconds. In theory, this shape is designed to be able to allow you to switch from a double 14 gram pull to a single 7 gram pull and back again without making a single grind change. But before we can test that out, we'll need to dial in the single pull. So using 7 grams of coffee, we're going to dial in the single shot to be as close as possible to the flavor and texture of a double as we can. As you can see, seven grams of coffee isn't very much. So the challenge of getting a shot using only seven grams to taste like one that has double, or in some cases triple the amount of coffee is going to be real. Not surprisingly, there is a distinct lack of information about single shots and using these baskets online. But according to the minimal amount of information I could find, a single shot generally is defined by a seven gram dose, an output of 30 milliliters in roughly 20 to 25 seconds. The other trick is figuring out how to properly use these baskets. After trying out filling the baskets out to their 58 millimeter diameter, it just didn't seem like the correct way to go. There wasn't enough coffee, so the edges were very thin and prone to cracking. The shot produced also ran quickly with some channeling and the puck just came out a muddy mess. So I ended up filling only the center of the basket with the seven grams of coffee, but this is no easy task in itself. I should preface this with a warning that during the next sequence, I will be breaking nearly every rule of tamping and puck preparation. So if you're bothered by graphic images of a complete and total disregard of the barista rules we've all become accustomed to, you may want to turn away or skip ahead 30 seconds or so. I'll give you a moment to do that now. This process is weird and time consuming, but it seems like the best way to get a proper extraction from the single basket, so here we are. Once the grinds are in the basket, use a tool or your finger to move as much of the coffee grinds into the center of the basket as possible, and once you've done that and you're happy with the amount there, begin with a full diameter tamp. Next, you'll need to move more of the grinds into the center, so again, using a finger or a tool, do that and then Lastly, you'll use the smaller end of the tamper if available, or something else to apply pressure to the small puck that's been created. Likely, you'll need to move around and polish a bit of the grounds into place, but in the end, your puck should look something like this. Now that we have our shot preparations figured out, it's time to pull a few shots and get this dialed in properly. During the first couple pulls, I had to make some adjustments to the grind to slow the extraction down a bit and prevent channeling. On the third shot, I landed on a grind size that worked pretty well with a clean extraction, but the shot pulled a little bit long and ended up tasting slightly watered down. So I decided to not change the grind, pull this one more time, but stop the shot a bit earlier to preserve some of the taste and texture from getting watered down. 
As you can see, this shot ran similarly to the previous one with little to no channeling and just a nice smooth extraction overall. Stopping a bit shorter at about 21 grams in 26 seconds created a super solid single shot of espresso. It had all the flavor, texture, and general enjoyment I look for in a great double or triple shot. But let's take this dial, swap in the 14 gram basket, grind for a double, and see how it comes out. Remember, they advertise this basket as being able to swap back and forth without a grind change, hence the odd shape of the single basket versus the straight wall basket. As you can see, it actually ran pretty decently within an acceptable double shot range of about 34 grams in 22 seconds. But the taste and texture was a bit thinner than its single shot sibling. Even though it's possible to swap these baskets without a grind change, it's still not really plug and play and I'd still highly recommend finding up your grind just a little bit. Lastly, the curiosity was too high for me not to test the extraction percentage of some single shots. So I lined up five single shots and pulled all with a seven gram dose and a 29.2 to a 30.5 gram yield and was pretty intrigued by the results. Now, I should preface this portion by saying all shots tested were cooled to room temperature, zeroed between each sample, stirred prior to pulling each test sample, and filtered using VST's syringe coffee filters. Now, at first glance, the lowest and highest TDS readings between these five shots don't appear all that impressive, but that's compared to the double shot TDS percentages I'm just so used to seeing at this point. But once plugged into the formula, these numbers really show some high extraction percentages. As you can see from the five shots tested, there is some interesting data here. A couple things worth noting is the TDS percentages ranged from 5.99 to 7.31, leaving a 1.32% variance. The actual extraction percentages ranged from 26.1 to 30.7, which is a variance of 4.6%. This puts the average extraction percentage for all these shots at 28.79%, which is far and away much higher than your average, ideal, or even high extraction double shot. Now, trying to understand why these extraction numbers are so much higher than what we normally see in a double shot is where I'm not entirely sure, but I've got a couple theories. First of which is something we've talked about before in a few different videos, but less coffee is easier to extract. So by using seven grams of coffee for a single shot, but nearly a double shot amount of water, i.e. 30 milliliters, that means you're likely gonna get a higher extraction. Also, I do think that maybe the shape of the basket works almost like a pour over filter by encouraging not only the downward flow of water, but also as a result, it assists in pushing those dissolved solids out more efficiently. Now that's just a guess and my guess is as good as yours, but of course take these results as you will. I'm just theorizing a bit here and would be curious to hear some of your thoughts on this as well. In the end the single shot is a fun aside, a cool experience worth having and maybe a great training tool for newer baristas as it uses less coffee but utilizes all the same standard principles. They can taste great and they generally have a higher extraction percentage, at least in my experience, than their double counterparts. But in the broad scheme, they just seem to take too long to prepare, barring having some kind of specialized equipment specifically for these single shot baskets. They also have a limited use in drinks larger than five ounces because they'd be nearly devoid of any coffee flavor if you go any bigger than that. So that's where I've landed on the single shot, what are your thoughts on this one? Have you used or do you use these baskets regularly? Have you found simpler ways of pulling them reliably and quickly? Drop your thoughts down below and I'll see y'all next week. And a big thank you to my June Patreon supporters, Ads, James B, David, Hamad, Christopher, John K, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Thomas B, Andre, Rick Racer, Sean, Joey, Thomas S, Noel, Spookus, Found Copy, Mika, Samantha, Nathan, Aiden, Jonathan, Claire, Stephen, James K, Josh, Andrew, Ollie, Ninja Warrior Coffee, Testing123, Horison, Bobby, Corey C, Curry, Dave B, Jerry, Marcus, Nicholas, Paul, RD, Tim, Matt, Tony, and of course, Zachary V. And last but not least, big thanks to the barista and barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now.
And lastly, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Spromethius, my blog at Spromethius.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.